the back quarterfinal action unfolding here at the Drug Aware Margaret River Pro with last year's world champion Carissa Moore taking on Bianca Batendar. Bianca on her way to her best result this season. Carissa Moore, she wants to get a win. She hasn't cracked the final heat of a CT event in 2016. Still no waves taken, but there's been lots of opportunities. She has to flip it on this one. Here we go. Carissa Moore, first wave of quarterfinal three. Driving up into this first section. She'll hold that rail. Needs to get another turn, and it's tricky out there at the moment. You can see Carissa already concerned about the rocks on the inside, but she does commit to that final maneuver. Just a couple of times in the earlier rounds, she's looked very tentative on the inside there, but I think she knew she had to turn that into a good number. Yeah. The tide's there on screen for you. A little bit water, uh, more water covering those rocks at the moment than what we had earlier today with some spectacular finishes. But Carissa, I'll see the replay of the first scoring ride. Yeah, about 20 more minutes of tide coming in until we reach the peak. Nice snap with all that wind. She did well to stay low to her board and finish that maneuver. But she really wanted to finish off with a bang. So a nice layback snap right before that wave closed out. Avoiding that lip, so a little bit conservative, but you don't blame her right where that section was nice. 8.17 for Carissa Moore on her first wave. A great start. Bianca now has priority. But just a lot of confidence. But something's been missing this year, and Rosie Hodge is out there in the lineup. She's a close friend of Bianca's. Do you agree, Rosie? Do you think there's some form missing from Bianca in 2016? I'm so impressed when Bianca really gets to be competitive and aggressive. As you see, her taking off on this wave on her backhand, Ronnie. She's getting out of sight for me. It looks like she's kicked out of that small wave. But you can kind of see when Bianca's heart and her mind is in it, she really gets that aggressive pro uh, approach. And I mean, her body language says it all there, just kicking out of that wave. So maybe she just needs to get that fire lit a little bit. Maybe that 817 from Carissa will get her moving a bit, a bit more and get it really seeing attacking that lip. I think that for me is when Bianca looks the best. I think to get that feeling of like, hey, I belong here. I want to win. I want to take this thing out. I've got that potential is so important to, to her mentality. And also the fact, looks like the ladies are having a look here. It seems like Bianca's going to have a sniff at this one. Deep bottom turn. Is she going to hit the lip? swoops around that one take it away Ronnie well Bianca needs to find some steeper wall to get that beautiful backhand style that was groomed on the point breaks of Victoria Bay to get that really cranking but at the moment Carissa Moore in control bit of foam on the face here but dealing with it well at the moment just a smooth approach not overdoing it here at this stage just looking for a solid backup number to go with the 8.17 she will extend her lead and the score's in for that last exchange of six for Carissa. And Bianca just a 2.07. So the South African combo at this stage. And she needs just an average score to get out of combination. This is a nice steep section. A better turn from the 22-year-old. Now looking for a strong finish. As this wave starts to step out, she's committed. She gets out of there, though, before the wave bottoms out. Yeah, she would have been guessing where that mini channel was, but she just basically was kind of gauging where the ski driver was sitting there waiting for her. But again, watch this radius on the hook. Pretty good right there. That was a solid effort right in the pocket. Now she's back out to the shoulder. So even though I don't think this is going to be much of a keeper in terms of a big score, I like that she got some rail wet there. So we're just under 10 minutes to go. Bianca. Gets herself a 4.33. She now needs a whopping 9.84 to get into the lead. We'll be back in just a moment. Always hits that big old section that comes at her and finishes it. She has that body language where she kind of flexes when she's done. Uh, and, you know, I really think that's helped her get those three victories here. Well, Carissa Moore, a great opportunity here to really shut Bianca out of the mix with six minutes and 20 seconds to go. Trying to improve on a six-point ride. But this wave isn't going to do much down the line. Yeah, I've known her since I was uh, really young. And I saw her surfing when she was like 10 years old and blew my mind. She's like surfing better than me. I'm, I'm a little bit older than her. And she was just doing these perfect little snaps. And I was just going, wow, that girl's going to be world champ. And 
Sure enough, there she is. <laughs> well, there you go. She's out there ripping right now, and hopefully she makes it through this one. She's looking pretty good to make it through. Uh and some uh, Misto Desert locations, Ross, which you've enjoyed in the past. Yeah, there's so many. This entire coast, it's huge, and it's filled with epic surf. Well, here we go. Carissa still looking to improve her lead by getting rid of a six-point ride. A decent combination put together by the three-time world champ, a medium-sized wave, but surfed up plenty of opportunities. As Bianca looks left and tucks into the barrel, she's going to find the exit. Is she not? She doesn't quite get low enough. As that wave started to clamp up. Wow, what a great vision for Bianca. She was slotted in that barrel. But as you mentioned, she just got a little on, a, on her heels there, stood too tall. These lefts out here are very tricky to ride out of the barrel. And a pretty smooth heat for Carissa. Again, I kind of feel like she's gauging herself energy-wise, saving the best for last. Well, Bianca, one heat ahead of where she was this time last year. So some positives can be taken from that. She managed to get all the way to fourth in 2015 and already will climb up into the top 10, but Carissa Moore continues her run here.